guys, welcome back to the channel. We uh, threw the rims on last week with the tires. Um, the week before that I had done a video on the moan kit for your brakes. And one of the things I noticed is just how rusty the undercarriage of my truck has gotten. You can kind of see it here. Um, that's a lot of rust. I don't remember that there uh, this summer. So what we're going to do today is we're going to throw on some fluid film black. Now, normally I have a guy that he does um, he does oil spray. And I'm going to be getting to him here in a little bit. He does, he fills the doors. You know, he's fantastic. Um, you know, he sprays underneath. But I was just kind of curious about this product. I was at Summit Racing, picked up two cans for about 15 bucks a pop. We're going to shake them up, we're going to spray them on, we're going to see what it looks like, and uh, then we're going to call it a day. So here we are. We've got the plywood down because I'm not sure how much this is going to drip. I don't think it's paint. It's more like a, uh, a wool wax, they say. So you can see all the rust here. Um, I'm just going to get it nice and shook up. I'm going to just hold it here and you can see kind of what it looks like. Goes on almost like a paint. Um, and just kind of, as you can see, when it goes on, it just kind of bubbles for a little bit. And uh, I should have mentioned that I pressure washed under here about two weeks back. But we are getting a little bit of drip. So if you're doing this in your driveway and you don't want a bunch of black spots, might be good to put down something. So here we are, we're about half a can in. Covered the entire rear axle. Um, it's messy. You probably want safety goggles, because if it's windy like a day like today, it's gonna blow it back in your face. Um, definitely a good idea for the plywood. The frame on this thing is really isn't too bad after one winter, um, and the guy that I usually pay to spray, he'll get all of that, but I was real curious about the product uh, just to see what it would do. Um, I may continue on here, and if I do, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes, but so far I'm impressed. It's nice. It coats everything in a nice black color, and I always say I can't go wrong if I'm adding black to the truck, so um, so far so good. So after taking a bunch of overspray in the eyeballs, um, I decided to strap on a pair of these safety goggles. So not a bad idea if you're doing this. Um, it sprays back, and if it's windy, like I said, it carries into your eyes. So um, I couldn't find the awesome pair I have from like 1970. Uh, when I first started working at the vocational school, it was in my desk drawer. They were sweet, like amber brown. So, but I'll settle for these. No doubt my camera's gonna get sprayed, but oh well. I just kinda want you guys to see this stuff kinda as it goes on. Kinda bubbles. working its magic, doing its bubbling, as you can see, now that my camera's got fluid film on it. But, uh, yeah, good product. The thing I did while I had, you know, a can going, um, I hit the top of the shock mounts, uh, just kind of sprayed all the bolts, got all the metal, uh, I was able to get both sides, so not a bad idea. I know that sometimes those corrode and um, occasionally they'll rust out on you, but not a bad idea while you're doing it. While I'm here, I'm just going to hit the front, um, just this metal part, and uh, hit some of the frame, 
and uh, I'm just going to try to use up this can. I only needed one can, so I uh, just hit a couple rusty spots. Try to keep it away from anything that gets hot, uh, like the exhaust, you know, or the engine. Um, and we'll go from there. So we've reached the end of our can, uh, but we were able to hit most everything up under here. Um, like I said, I didn't do the majority of the frame just because I have a guy that does it. Um, and I'm planning to take it to him here shortly. But I wanted to see what this product did, how I liked it. Uh, I'd say so far so good. One can did everything I wanted to do. Got all the rusty stuff. And uh, like I said, in the meantime, I'm going to be taking it to a guy who does oil spray undercoating uh, out here. He's got like a pit, literally in an old barn, you drive over it, and he puts on a hazmat suit and sprays you down. So, I'd like to be able to film that. I don't know, he's like Orthodox Mennonite though, so he might not like me to do that. I don't know, hopefully I'll get his permission to film it. And, uh, you can see what that's like. But, just trying to mitigate some of the issues that winter has caused under the truck with salt. Hopefully I was able to get most of the grease off the camera lens. Give you guys just one more look at the truck, the wheels. Um, she's looking good. So, real happy with the setup. Uh, I was afraid it wasn't going to be enough offset for me, but honestly, I think the zero offset works just fine for me. Um, it peaks out just slightly from the fed. Well, as you can see, like just barely. Um, so I'm not going to be slinging a bunch of mud up on the side of the truck and on the bed. It's not super clean, so forgive the dust and dirt and such, but I figured I'd give you one quick look um, before we wrap it. So it's coming along. I've uh, got a little bit of fluid film on there today. So... A minute once again thanks for watching me um, as I you know try to make this truck into a show truck or an anywhere you want to go truck so hopefully it can do both fluid film black good product if you're like me you live in the Midwest and you're worried the toll that the salt is going to take on the undercarriage of your truck it's worth looking into $14.99 a can uh, I'll get picked mine up at Summit Racing watch